appreciate you being with us here today. Um, as we get started, why don't you just give everybody a little bit of background on who you are and uh, just your history in the horse training. Okay, I'm uh, Chance O'Neill. I have O'Neill horse training. Uh, I was a uh, head horse trainer for the Four Sixes Ranch for 12 years. Um, I left there, moved to Lubbock, Texas, and I was the uh, Texas Tech Ranch Horse Team coach for five years. And like I said, now I train here uh, south of Lubbock uh, at a place called 7B Ranch. Okay. And, uh, and so what we do. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I know uh, I was excited um, to have you consign this, this mare. Um, here we have it. Um, this mare came, came off the uh, Beggs Cattle Company Ranch. And I, I asked you a minute ago and how, have you explained it again, how they pronounce that name? Okay, so uh, when George registers his horses, he registers, uh, if you pronounce it, Bacaco, which stands for Beggs Cattle Company. Okay. And All so right. on every horse that he registers, it has that in front of their name. Okay. And I, I guess I hadn't asked you, but you, you bought this, uh, this mare from them, or maybe was it as a two-year-old? Uh, yes, I, I actually received this horse from the Beggs Ranch uh, as a two-year-old, and we put her into training, um, and we've done everything as far as the, all the versatility events on her. I was, uh, it's kind of, I mean, she is a good-looking uh, mare. She, she is stout, and she, she just looks the part. I mean, you can't help but like her when you look at her and profile her. Yes, and she... So she, uh, Beggs has been raising these ranch horses for quite some time. And, uh, and I would say ranch performance horses because um, he, uh, her, her father, C.E. Son of Magnolia was a really outstanding ranch cow horse uh, value. Um, if you go back on the dam side that she goes back, if you go back far enough, she goes back to Tankerage Inn. And we can, we can talk about all that, but what I love, and I, I have to admit, I love watching this video. Um, I know Zach, Zach's in it a lot, your son, um, but he pieced this together. But um, if you can see this, maybe kind of, I mean, to me, I take a look at this and I say, man, obviously you've got this mare trained. She knows to rate up on a cow to rope it, but y'all have obviously done a lot of ranch work on this mare. Yes, of course. Yeah, going back to, to my background again, I was work, I was raised on the W.T. Wagner Ranch. Uh, my dad cowboyed there for 55 years, so we have horses and performance. So what we try to do on all of our horses, we give them a lot of outside riding. We do a lot of ranch cowboying on them, uh, let them horses learn how to be horses outside before we take them in the arena, and then we try to make performance horses out of them. And uh, like this mare right here, she she's done a lot of she's done just as much outside ranch work as she has done the arena work. Yeah, but I, I I look at her and I think if somebody wants to keep showing her versatility, that's an option. Somebody wants to do more of the cow horse um, regionally, that's an option. Or somebody wants to take her to the roping box and roping pen, she's going to do that too. Uh, yes, yeah, like I said, we, we try to put the foundation on them that these horses are broke to where they can go any direction that anybody would like to go with. Yeah, uh, looking at these videos, one of the things I always take a look at is feet. Looks like she's got a good foot and bone under her, doesn't she? Yeah, she's good. She has very good feet. She's really straight-legged. Like I said, confirmation-wise, I don't think it, uh, you could find anything uh, wrong with her confirmation. She's really put together really well. Um, I feel like as far as, you know, and, that, and that's even if you're looking at a mare to potentially go ahead and, and raise some babies out of in the future. Yeah, absolutely. Um, here, just, I, I threw this video in, you all have sent it to me, of uh, this mare riding outside. I think by now with your introduction, I think everybody gets the point. I mean, this is a well-rounded mare, been rode a lot, doctored a lot, ranched on a lot. Um, I'm not sure what Zach's doing, but I get a kick out of it. I had to watch it twice here to watch him rope this. I couldn't tell him to steer a heifer, but rope it. And then, he, then at the end here, he gets the rope off. So, yeah, whoops. so uh, and th these kids that we have right now that we're schooling our horses down the fence on, man, not only a man that's got a lot of, lot of rate and uh, a lot of draw on a cow, but you can see the speed that she can gather herself up and run because this calf right here is really, really moving on. 
Yeah. And uh, yeah. Uh, and so yeah, he just reached out there and roped it, and uh, and then just wanted to show him on circling the cow. So he just circled the cow up and took his own rope off. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Y'all are real cowboys. Us up here in Minnesota, we just pretend sometimes. Hence, I, I call it my <laughs> cowboy costume when I go to a horse show. Um, anyhow, uh, what, Chance, what would you have to say? I mean, if somebody's asking you what the strong suit of this mare is or just the general description, I guess, you know, I appreciate taking time, but just give you one more chance just to maybe in general kind of tell us a little bit about this, this mare or anything else I, I haven't asked or I've left out. Well, the strongest thing about the mare is she's been exposed to everything that you can be exposed to. She is a very versatile mare um, as far as athletic ability. And then also, uh, we didn't have, we didn't show any videos of us showing her trail and pleasure. But I mean, she's also been exposed to the, to the show arena where she, you can do trail, you can do pleasure. She's a real pretty mover on the rail. Um, uh, she she does the trail the same way she works cow, you know. So that that would be I think the best thing about this mare is because of the versatility that and she can go any direction that you would like to go with her. Yeah, no, no, that is awesome. Uh, once again, I'm excited that 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 you you were willing to consign this mare. Um, if anybody has questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to Chance. Um, he'll be glad to talk to you, visit with you on this, Mary. This is, this is the type we all uh, have no problem standing behind. So thanks, everybody. And uh, um, like I said, uh, good luck with the bidding on this one. She's a unique one.